Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Right, that Halo Aces by um, Harry Lorraine. God almighty, I had a mind freeze. Yeah, obviously you need your four aces. Um, I'm gone, not to be high. Get it down a bit. There we go. You need your four aces. You also need, unless you've got a really good memory like Harry Lorraine, four marker cards. I use them four. Two, four, six, eight in chased order. Very easy to remember. Two of clubs, four of hearts, six of spades, eight of diamonds. Right? I use them. Um, start off, three cards, put your two in. Three cards, put your four in. Three cards, put your six in. And three cards, put your eight in. So that's the bottom 16 cards are stacked. Right? Now you can, if you want to, start with the aces on the top and you say, yeah, I can cut to the aces and straight away go into doing your halo. You just get a break on ooh, the bottom card or just press up with your finger onto it as you swing cut a little chunk, about a quarter of the packet, off onto the top of it. So you just cut one of the aces. Do the same thing again, cut a little chunk, take that card along for the ride, and do it again, take a chunk, cut that card along for the ride, and show all four aces on top of the packet. Now I hope I've picked them up the right bloody way. I didn't. Two of clubs, three cards. Right. Or you could do it the way I started off, where you put the four cards into the middle of the packet and then in one fell swoop control them to the top of the packet. Yes, it is using that move again, but this time you're controlling four cards. Push it on the angle, pull it down with the thumb, kick it out, catch it with little finger and first finger and manoeuvre. All four cards on top of the packet and then go into doing your halo we again break on the bottom card cut a small chunk off take it along for the ride cut a small chunk off take the card for a ride small chunk off cut take the card for a ride and again if your cards sort of like want to behave put them show the four aces again always pick up from the right hand side Always pick up from the right hand side. That puts your cards back in order. So you've got your two, your four, your six. How off putting is that? Your eight, right? Because what you do now is do a fan in your hand so you can see all your cards, right? And all you're going to do is put one ace behind the first card, but don't leave it sticking through like that. Stick it behind it. Stick that one behind the four. Stick that one behind the six. And stick that one behind the eight. And if you show it like that, people are going to think they're in... Um, you know what I mean. Spaced out. So when you do it, don't spread a big chunk of them. Just so it all spreads out in your hand. And that way it gives them the impression that them cards are going in miles apart in the packet. Instead of just three cards apart. You close up, you put it in. Now you do a Hindu shuffle. But you don't want to touch the bottom 16 cards. So you strip out from the middle. Above the middle. If you see what I mean. So you don't touch them 16 cards. And you do a fairly long winded Hindu shuffle. Taking one or two cards off at a time. So it gives you the impression that you just had a hell of a lot of cards there. And if you want, you can do it again. Just to give the impression that you're well and truly mixing the packet up. And that's enough for that. You then prove that there's no ace on the top by turning the top card. You then turn the packet over and go, and there's no ace on the bottom. Now you know what your key card is, the two of clubs. So you peer off till you see the two of clubs. 
you get them cards and you put them in the bottom half of the deck so they don't interact with them cards you then turn the packet over and you're just going to do your halo again and turn the packet over sorry turn that packet over which was the top of the packet to show an ace you can take it off you can show that it's not there there's no aces there turn this packet facing up and peel cards off till you see your next marker card the four of hearts put that to the bottom do another halo cut and again turn the top half of the packet over take the ace off show the top card it's always going to be the same card so show it pretty quick or if you want to after you've shown it take it and bury it into the middle of the packet the bottom half of the packet um, turn that over peel off till you see your marker card put that to the bottom turn over do another halo cut and again produce that whatever way you want to produce but now you just want to do like a dead cut with it and then show it there take it off again show the top card if you want to vary it again push that into the middle of the packet turn it over take cards off till you see your marker card put it to the bottom turn it over so look so we've got an eight of diamonds on the bottom do your halo cut and turn both packets over bringing the, them back together the, like that if you see what i mean so they can see the eight of diamonds is still on the bottom card and where you've cut is in the middle and yes it is indeed to an ace and there you go not much more i can tell you about that besides go and have great fun with it yeah crack a little trick i i hope you've enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and i will see you again soon but i am going to start slowing down i am one video a year i think for another four years and maybe i'll have less videos of <laughs> hey yeah um no i want to be silly Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again soon.